Jan here in the Northview Model Shop. Tonight I want to talk about Elclad 2 lacquers. Um, experimented with these today uh, with some really great results. Um, uh, let's just dive right into it here. Um, what we ended up doing was painting up these really cool rims. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember a while back from, um, what was it, B&L Resins. I think that's the company I got that stuff from. Um, I got some really cool rims and tires and some 5 ton Rockwell axles. So. Um, got them all cleaned up, so I'd paint them up. Um, what I wanted to rock with here was um, I wanted to get a really cool aluminum chrome, almost if you will, look for these. Um, so I had this these products here, the primer and the polished aluminum I had in my arsenal, but I yet to test it. So today we rocked it. Um, being resin, obviously, a lot of cleaning went into all this stuff. Uh, so we get that all geared up. Now this is the I've never used an airbrushed primer before. Let's get it back into focus. But uh, real good bottle, real good size here. Um, I'm just trying to check out the volume here. It's a lot. Let's just put it that way. Anyway, real cool. Oh yeah, all kinds of uh, all kinds of uh, little ball bearings in there. You got to give it a real good shake. You'll see that there's some settlement in there. So a lot of shaking went into it. This stuff you're spraying at 15 to 18 psi, and we sprayed it through our Badger 105 Patriot, made in the U.S. of A. This uh, airbrush for this product performed like a champ. Um, really good, really, really good. So, what you do is you get your airbrush loaded up, and a real light coating, um, two coats allowing 30 minutes flash time in between the two, Got me a really good, really nice, even finish. This is also a micro filler on top of that, so it filled in any little imperfections, but these were pretty clean, so not a big deal. Anyway, um, went on smooth cleanup. Uh, I was fearing cleanup, because this gun I've really only put um, put the acrylics through. So cleanup, that was always super simple, but just used a normal uh, hardware lab thinner, cleaned right up, lickety split. Um, also, uh, a lot of people were saying that this stuff very fumy, very, very fumy. I did this outdoors, and uh, even the outdoors, I didn't seem too awful bad. So, I mean, ventilation is key, safety forced, right? So, anyway, guys, get that done. It comes out with a nice gloss black finish, and I'm understanding the gloss black is really important to get the absolute best out of this. This stuff is super, super thin, and... Um, if you don't have that gloss finish under it, I guess this doesn't go down very well. And uh, you know what? I think what I might do here one of these days if I get, uh, I should have done this in the first place, is get some spoons out and just lay down three different base primers and um, and try it. Now, mind you, I'm using a primer that is not recommended. They recommend their own, obviously, and I don't always buy into that, saying you have to use my primer or, your, or my product won't be guaranteed, won't work well. But, you know what, I gave it a shot this time just because this stuff is expensive. You don't want to waste it. So, gear up. All right, guys, from there, you get this stuff out. Um, I think you got to run this at between um, 15 and 18 PSI again. So I, uh, I geared her up. Two light coats, 30 minutes flash time in between. And we get out some really, really nice rims. I don't think it's going to show up as well as I'd like it on this camera. But, uh, yes, it it did get that nice polished look. Now, let's see if I grab it. Mind you, I would say that this stuff, this Krylon Silver, probably gives you the same effect, but you just don't get the control out of the, out of the rattle can as you did this nice airbrush. So things went on a little, quite a bit more smoother. The uh, sheen to it's a little sharper. I, I think it's uh, it was worth the money. Looks good. Um, the big old meaty tires, that's just straight primer black. I haven't... Uh, I haven't got much further with those. Uh, I'm going to airbrush those with some Tamiyan, um, some Tamiya uh, um, uh, flat black. Uh, and this is just the my my favorite primer, my Dupacolor primer, Sandable. So those would be ready to rock and roll. But I think they look pretty good in there. Um, definitely going to have to come in. You can see where the uh, well, you see the back of that is a solid block. So I'm going to have to come in with the uh, with the paintbrush and black out the cutouts and the rims. Pick out the bead lockers and the wheel nuts and all that stuff, but that's for another day. This is the key today. It's the Elclad 2 lacquer system. I think you'll see this show up in the model shop a little bit more. We're going to um, I'm going to look at their line. I'm going to look at their their burnt uh, their burnt exhaust, their jet exhaust lines. 
they got all kinds of really great stuff. This stuff lays down good. So, anyway, guys, anyone who's wondering about Alclad 2 lacquer primers and their uh, their high gloss or their their metal finishes, I think it's worth the time, guys. I think.